My name is Calypso. Exactly one year ago on Christmas Eve, my twisted metal contest destroyed the City of Angels. Twisted Metal is genuinely one of a kind. While there are plenty of other games that use a similar formula, some good in their own rights. The Twisted Metal, though, none of the others quite capture the same charm. Whether it be the glorious Clipso in his vehicular contest, came to him in some kind of a fever dream, or the various drivers and cars that seem to take on a personality of their own, Twisted Metal holds a special place in many people's hearts. One of the most memorable aspects of the Twisted Metal games is the many battlegrounds you find yourself in spanning across the world in various conditions throughout the series, in this video we are going to dive into some of the most iconic and unforgettable levels from the Twisted Metal series. If you enjoy the video and want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Many of you may know me from my main channel, which is dedicated to Fallout, so subscribing to this channel really helps out if you like this type of content. Leaving a like helps out as well if you enjoy the video. So let's jump in to 9 Twisted Levels from Twisted Metal. The Arena Duel from Twisted Metal, the classic, taking place at 3am in Clipso's nightclub that features an underground arena to pit two drivers in a fight to the death. And Clipso can be seen here, behind bulletproof glass, with his army of maidens. This level makes the list because it is arguably the most iconic of the series. As for design, it features a few obstacles littered throughout the circular arena, providing a tight battleground for the two combatants that find themselves here. A crowd of people surrounds the battlefield. Some of the posters here advertise the name High Octane, which was the original name of the game. Only Clipso could get away with having this kind of a setup. The winding streets of Paris, France make a terrific battlefield for the Twisted Metal Tournament. Cars flying and fighting through the buildings of downtown Paris is truly a fantastic sight. The city is filled with nooks and alleys perfect for waging war against the other combatants of Twisted Metal. The famous Eiffel Tower acts as the centerpiece for this battle, and with a well-placed explosive and use of the teleport pad, we can blow the tower sky high and create a bridge to the rooftops of the city. Heading over to the Louvre, we can find the famous Leonardo da Vinci painting, the Mona Lisa, which will reveal its secrets if it gets hit with napalm, burning away the picture to show a cheat code. And this map would be remastered in Twisted Metal Head On, and a great throwback to the classics. This map will always be burned into my mind as a truly iconic level in the series. The building's indestructible environment made it a staple to play with friends, over and over again. Amazonia always has a striking appeal to it, whether it be the vast rivers of lava that flow through the battlefield or the appearance of Minion, literally the devil driving a tank, Amazonia is sure to stick to your memory. The winding paths hold a bit more authority when surrounded by lava. The architecture of the area stands out as well. Massive ancient structures and pyramids as far as the eye can see. And this isn't the only time we will see the elusive Columbian map space. In Twisted Metal 4, we get sent back to the map with Amazonia 3000 BC, where we find ice caves and snow instead of rivers of lava that were present in the previous title. Clearly a staple of the series and an iconic level for everyone who enjoyed Twisted Metal 2. The feeling when Minion shows up though, man. of the towering skyscrapers of New York City act as one of the most iconic maps from Twisted Metal 2. Certain and immediate death awaits any combatant that is unlucky enough to stray too close to the edge and take the big leap. New York is not above allowing the contestants of Twisted Metal to change its environment. If someone were to shoot the Statue of Liberty, they would be in for quite the surprise. Things like this are one of the many reasons Twisted Metal stands out so much. 
Tongue-in-cheek Easter eggs like this were a driving force back in the day, and Twisted Metal hosts them in spades. The level itself is pretty relentless. The rooftops do not mesh well with the data controls of Twisted Metal. With some cars handling like a bathtub, navigating the insta-death skyline of New York could be quite frustrating. And that just adds to the nostalgia. Twisted Metal 2's final map, Hong Kong, is a perfect way to end the second game of the series. Tall buildings and alleys thread the grid-style road layout, giving great opportunity for those who like to use cover and expose those who don't. Perhaps one of the most memorable moments from this map is the appearance of Darktooth, Sweet Tooth's father and former Twisted Metal contestant who now has a vendetta against you for killing his son in the tournament. The giant ice cream truck, painted a menacingly black tone, driven by a madman, will test the mettle of any seasoned Twisted Metal player. Hong Kong does offer some advantages to this fight, as Dark Two's size will work against him in some of these corridors. Once the truck is defeated, you still have the head to worry about. A nightmare-inducing scene that still haunts me to this day. Washington DC in Twisted Metal 3 is memorable. While most people agree that the series started to decline during the 989 Studios years, some of the levels and other elements were still pretty memorable. And this map was for a different reason, as it shows the level of interest this new studio had in making exciting content for the series. The DC map is just a big open square in front of some of the landmarks that you might recognize. The one thing that does stand out about this level is the return of Darkseid, the semi-truck from the past entries of the series. Seeing a previous character come back as a boss, especially Darkseid, was a welcome addition to the game. Though the map was lacking, this helps it stand out. <laughs> Twisted Metal 3's North Pole Battlefield is a real playground of mayhem. Nothing was more fun than destroying igloos as well as Santa's workshop, and snowmen litter the map. The icy cliffs make for a great time while participating in the Twisted Metal contest. Though some levels in Twisted Metal 3 seem a bit lacking, the North Pole really brings out some of the greatness that the series initially harbored. The wacky environment mixed with the dangerous terrain makes it a standout for the game, but also for the series as well. Neon City in Twisted Metal 4 is a sprawling, futuristic concrete jungle, one of the standout levels from the fourth entry in the series, mainly due to the depth of which it is presented. Neon City offers battles on rooftops as well as the city streets below, allowing you to really mix it up when fighting out with the other contestants. The lights and visuals found here are clearly what inspired the name of the city, but one of the main reasons the map stands out so much is how visually appealing it is. It offers a fun futurescape for the Battle of Twisted Metal to take place in. We encounter Moon Buggy here as a boss fight, which makes it a bit more memorable. With Twisted Metal 4 being one of the weakest entries in the series, this level stands out. Last on the list, we take a look at my favorite game in the Twisted Metal series, Twisted Metal Black. The level Snowy Roads provides a memorable experience. The story was undoubtedly the strong point for Twisted Metal Black, but that doesn't mean that the maps were dull or lacking. The changeup that Snowy Roads offers was a welcome one and a chaotic one, and it changes the pace of the action. Navigating through the snow-covered canyons and hills proves to be a challenge, especially when you are fighting it out with the rest of the Twisted Metal contestants. Visually, this was my favorite map of the game. I'm a big fan of snow levels, and this one looks remarkable. What can be more fun than sliding around a winter wonderland on your way to a meeting with Calypso? Thank you for checking out my video about Twisted Maps from Twisted Metal. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up down there as it helps out the channel a lot. And this is my second channel, with my main being dedicated to Fallout. So if you like this type of content and want to see more, consider subscribing to show support. I want to thank my patrons and YouTube channel members. I'm very grateful for your continued support. 
and a special thanks to my biggest supporters, Kim Jong-un, Fire Flare, Mark Train, Jay of the Jungle, and your typical redneck. You guys are fantastic, and I couldn't do this without you. If you want to see your name in these credits and support the content more directly, check out the Patreon and YouTube channel links below. Thanks again for watching. I will catch you on the next one. It has been Mantis. I gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly, for the day you die, you gon' trust the sky, you gon' trust the sky, baby girl, testify, come up in the spot looking extra